Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one's going to be on a line sweeper. I've pulled this puzzle from my recently published book on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. Would love it if you guys would check it out. I had a lot of fun making the puzzles, so hopefully you guys have a lot of fun solving them. How the rules work is uh, these numbers in the grid are going to indicate how many cells adjacent to them contain a line segment. And what you'll notice is there's going to be a single continuous line that loops around the grid and connects with itself. And that's it. So uh, lots of fun, a little bit different. If you do enjoy Minesweeper, I think you're going to enjoy this type of puzzle as well. Uh, a lot of the same logic can be used, but with it being a line, there's some added little tricks and features and uh, tips I'll share. So without further ado, let's get to solving. Uh, the easiest place to start, I think, is along the edges or corners. Uh, here we have a five. We know there's going to be five line segments next to it. Now I'm placing a dot because I don't know exactly how the line goes. I don't uh, quite yet. Uh, and I'll come back to that later so I can kind of explain what that means. Now I know here this cell cannot contain a line segment because if a line goes in there, that's a dead end. right? There's no way for the line to get out. Uh, of that area. So with that said, I know that cannot be a part of the line. And now this three only has three cells left, so all of those cells must contain the line. Uh, we can do the same strategy here with this cell. So again, we think about this as a dead end, right? A line cannot go into that dead end because it would have no way of escaping. So we know that that cannot contain a line segment. And same thing here on the other end. Again, same thing. We can't have the line going like that. There would be no way for the line to escape. So that does not contain a line. There's only three cells left. So all of those must contain a line segment. Same thing here with this three. There's only three cells available. So it must be all three. This six, there's only three left. We already have three segments indicated. So all six of those are going to be highlighted. This four has a dead end next to it. So same thing, I think you're kind of catching on to a trend. The lines cannot go into dead ends. So we mark that. And there's only four spots available. So all four are gonna contain a line segment. This two, there's only two spots available. So it's like that. Here's another dead end, we can close that off. This four, there's only four cells available. So all four of those are gonna contain a line segment. These sevens, if we think about it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cells are adjacent to it. So all of those are going to contain a line segment. And same thing with this seven. All of those are going to contain a line segment. So now uh, I think that's it for the easy part. Oh, this three is solved, right? We have three dots here. So all these other cells adjacent to the three are not going to contain uh, lines. So now let's move on to the, the actual line part. So whenever a line is in a corner, it essentially has to, to bend, right? Be an elbow like that, because there's no way, the, the line has to hit the corner and it has to escape, there's only one way. So every corner cell, you can essentially do that uh, drawing like that. There's no other way to hit those corner cells. So that is a good place to start, is any corner, you can uh, do that. The next thing is any alleyways. So what I mean by an alleyway is this dot here is between two blocks, so it has to shoot through like that. Um, so that, that is a good start. Here's another alleyway. We can shoot through like that. And now this line here has to continue. No, there's only one way for it to go, so it has to continue this way and connect there. Um, now this one's tricky. We don't know if it goes like that or the line could, well the line couldn't do that because this would create a dead end with this line, right? That would intersect. So we know it doesn't do that. So because we know it, it can't be reached from this cell, well, I guess it could go straight like that. So let's not get ahead of myself. Um, let's think. 
So this four is solved, right? We have one, two, three, four line segments adjacent to it. So that this cell here cannot contain a line segment. Otherwise, it'd be five, and that would break this rule. So since this is a corner, this line's forced to turn. Um, this five is interesting because if we think about this cell here, if this cell is in, the line would, has to go all the way around like that. And why I say that is because the opposite is true too. If this is not part of a line segment, then this is a dead end and the line goes like that. So this five is really interesting because either way, the line goes like this, or it goes like that, right? But either way, we know this is going to be in it, and that's going to be in it. <clears throat> um, Now, this 5, right, we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, you know what? One of these has to be in. And if one has to be in, they both have to be in. And the reason for that, if you think about it, there's only, if you look at this 5, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. The fifth one has to be one of these two. And again, if it's one of those two, it has to be both, right? Because you can't have this one not be part of it or that would not be part of it you're gonna be creating a dead end so we know it actually goes around the five like that and these are not part of it this line here hits a wall so it has to turn can't turn this way otherwise it would have to continue and then you create a closed loop there in, in a dead end here so that's that's not gonna work so we know it has to turn this way and now this line can't turn here it create a dead end, so it has to go through like that. This five is solved, right? We have one, two, three, four, five down here. So that's like that, forcing this line segment to come out a little bit further. And let's think about, so this five here, already has four, one, two, three, four dots, or four line segments. It needs one more. It can't be this one. And the reason why is, again, that would create an alley and it'd have to sh the line would have to shoot through. And so if it's this one, it would have to also be this one. And that can't be. So we know that is blacked out. So this line is forced to come through like that. <clears throat> And this line, since it's an alleyway, it has to continue down. And this six, we have one, two, three, four, five line segments. So one of these is going to be a line segment and one's not going to be. And if we think about if it's this one, if this one's not a line segment, this one would be, oops, this one would be forced to be one. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And, what, and this creates a problem because it's a, it's a corner. The only way to get out is to do that little elbow, and you create a closed loop area. So all that tells me is this cannot be out of the loop. It has to be in the loop, therefore that one's out. So it goes like this. Now this has to be out because otherwise it would create a dead end. And now this three can be solved because we have one, two, three. This is a corner. Let's continue out that way. So we're making good progress. Um, this five, again, needs one more. We have one, two, three, four. So it's got to be this one or this one. Can't be both. And it can't be this one because we have a little corner here. If the line goes here, it has to come down. And then this five would break. It'd be six. So all that tells me this cannot be part of the line segment. This has to be. That's a corner. It bends. This is an alleyway. It has to continue down. This has reached a, uh, a, a corner, so it has to come down. This is a corner, this dot here, right? So it has to be reached like that. Now, this line can't go this way to the left because then it'd be forced to come down and you'd create a closed loop uh, and leave the rest of it stranded. So since it can't go to the left, 
can't go to the right, can't go up, it's got to go down. This can't go up because that would be a dead end. So this is not part of the line segment. It's forced to come down. Can't go to the right, that would be a dead end. So it's forced to come down again. And if you think about it, this can't go down any further. It would leave this line segment, uh, these uh, alone. So since it can't come down or to the right, it has to come to the left. These connect, those connect. And now we're starting to see, again, here we can't connect it. We'd create a closed, we'd have two loops. So since it can't go to the right, it's got to come down. This is forced to come down. Same thing, we can't prematurely close it off. Otherwise, you'd have two loops. So since it can't go to the right, it has to come down. And this connects there. And there you have it. That is a line sweeper puzzle. Lots of fun. Uh, I actually really like it a lot. And again, if you like Minesweeper, I think you're going to like this variant. Um, it's a lot like a kind of like a Yajalan puzzle or a Slitherlink or any a Masu, any of those line type uh, looping puzzles, but with a Minesweeper twist. So again, it kind of mixes some of my favorite puzzles together. I think you guys will enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.